we are about to add bootstrap with our project that means we need to connect bootstrap with the theme that we have created so in an order to do that all we need to do we need to work with this bootstrap cdn so if we get back to google and if we look for this bootstrap 4.4.1 cdn we'll be reaching to their source code of this individual version and we can see that this is the bootstrap cdn and in the first case this is the style sheet and there comes the uh, bootstrap.min.js the javascript version that we need to place into our project but if we are using some kind of compiled javascript then we need to add these definite cdns these definite sources right into it so in our previous cases we have seen that we have practically downloaded the source code into our project and we had used it along with the project but in this case we will be working with the bootstrap cdn the inbuilt cdn uh, sources those are practically available with this bootstrap version we'll be making usage of it so in that case in the very first case all we are going to need we will be needing this individual source code here this is the style statement let's get back to our project first and we are going to comment this thing out we will be stating that so we are about to register our styles and scripts right over here in the first case let's do so registers not script in the first case we need to register the style so as usual in the first case we need to mention the id and this is what we are exactly going to do we are naming it as go bootstrap in the next case we need to mention the source so that is why all we are going to do we are getting back to the bootstrap cdn and here is the source style sheet source right over here so we are going to copy this thing from here and we are about to paste it right over here view this is the toggle word wrap and in the next case there is no dependencies we'll be needing all those things right over here so there won't be any array it should be an empty array next comes this version the version with which we are currently working on and the version is 4.4.1 so we need to mention it here and in the last case we need to define the media is for all so there it goes and we have registered this style of bootstrap 4.4.1 in the next case we need to enqueue that individual style that we had created so this is the id we are about to copy this thing and we are about to paste it right over here in the next case we need to register the script right over here and uh, this is the script source so we are about to copy it but in the first case as it has been said here if you are using our compiled javascript then don't forget to include the cdn versions of jquery and popup.js that means we will be requiring all those things so in the very beginning in the very first case we require this code.jquery.com but i would like to suggest that instead of copying it from here we will be making usage of it right from here this is not a slim version this is the whole version and in some particular cases it might come in handy instead of the slim.min.js because uh, in some later cases you might find that it doesn't comply with ix or jquery version so i'll be rather using this this is the jquery 3.4.1.min.js so i'll be making usage of it hence let's get back to our project and in the very first case as usual there goes the id which will be known as uh, for say handler 
in the next case it requires a source file so we will be pasting the source file that we had created the dependency is practically jquery so we will be putting it as array jquery the version is of course the same one that we had used previously so we will be using this version here as 4.4.1 and in the last case this individual parameter it practically determines whether your javascript it should reside in the header part or in the footer part the default value is false so if you don't put anything here it would be false and it, it would be residing into the header element into the header section but if we place here true then it should be residing into the footer element so this is what we are going to do we are going to mention here as true we are toggling our view here we have the requirement of this individual popup.js so this is what we are about to copy we have copied it let's get back to our project first of all copy this whole thing and again we are missing a semicolon actually this is a very bad practice that we are not putting this semicolon here we should be making usage of it and instead of handler we are making usage of this popup.js instead of this source code all we are going to do we are going to use this individual popup.min.js so we are testing it the array the dependency is on jquery so this is a jquery the version has been defined here and we are mentioning that it should reside this script it should be residing into the footer section so this has been done here in the next case we need to specify the main bootstraps.min.js so that is why we are copying it and we are pasting it right over here we need to change this id here which is um, bootstrap so everything has been done right over here the next thing the only thing that remains is to enqueue all those scripts so in the next case we are going to enqueue our scripts and as usual we need to define all those pop up things here like this one this is the pop up first of all this is the handler so we are going to mention it right over here this is the handler and we don't need anything else In the next case, we need to make usage of this bootstrap here. So everything has been enqueued right on before we are using any classes here. First of all, let's get back to our project, right click, view page source. And if we look for this go bootstrap, there it goes. This is the go bootstrap. CSS ID that we had created right over here. Uh, this is the functions.php and there it goes. This is the Go Bootstrap ID. It has been connected right over here. And in the next case, if we look for popper, there it goes. This is the popper, and this is practically the footer element. As we can see, that it comes in the footer element, footer part. So we have successfully placed this individual uh, popper.js and rest of those uh, jQueries or JavaScripts, those we had connected with our page into the footer element as the position of those elements were set to the footer. It was set to true. Let's get back to header. And in this case, all we are going to do, we are going to create, make usage of some kind of uh, bootstrap classes here this is the first one this will be created it will be soon done 
let me create all those divs, those are required. Intend it a little. In the next case, we will be creating the provision for column. So this is what we had done, we had created a container class, a row class and a call 12 class. So if we in the header section, in the header.php which will be wrapping this individual h1 tag and this individual p tag. Now if we get back to our project and reload, uh, it is not working yet, somehow we are missing something here. So let's get back to our page source, press Control F. This is the popper, not popper, go, go bootstrap CSS, ah, there it goes. We are missing an S right over here, instead of CSS, it is now written here dot CS. So this is what we need to rectify. Let's get back to our project and here, instead of CSS, it was written as CS. And that is why this error was occurring right over here. So this is the WordPress is fun. Now, re now reload and you can see that the container is back into its position. It is practically working. The WordPress is fun is now getting back into position. Everything is now changed. If we get back to this uh, header.php, we had placed this deep class container row call 12 here, call 12 here. So, in the same manner, if we get back to this content PHP and if we place this thing here, sorry, this is the body class which has been siding, put it off and close all the divs. This is just for a testing purpose, nothing else. Everything will be changed while we'll be customizing our project. But first of all, let's view the output. We have created another container class into this individual h1 and p tag. Let's get back to our project and reload and we can see that everything comes back into order. The whole page is now working in a proper order, in a proper manner. Same thing should be done in the, in the footer case. And one thing is sure that the page or our WordPress site is currently now connected to Bootstrap.